Oh, what an intro. Perfect. Yeah. I'm back. And I need work. Hello, everyone. Midna Moonlight here, and welcome. It's time that I tackle Metroid Prime 2. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played the, uh, first Metroid game, or the, sorry, Metroid Prime game, uh, last May, and it's actually doing pretty well. It's, uh, the first part's getting pretty close to 300 views, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, move on to the second game. Once again, I have not played this game. Uh, I've not even seen a playthrough of it. And I am a uh, Metroid newbie. This is uh, going to be the fourth Metroid game. I'm all, I am also playing Metroid Dread at the same time. So um, I did a little poll, a poll on Facebook. I'm like, I want to do an, I want to do a blind uh, Metroid game. Which one should I do, Dread or Metroid Prime Two? And uh, it was pretty close. Uh, I think Metroid Dread just beat it by like two votes. And I was like. You know what? Let's just play both of them. So, uh, I'm gonna be uh, switching, uh, uploading. So, Metroid Dread will probably be done quicker. So, I expect this is gonna be the uh, the longer of the two. Uh oh. What's going on? Well, Samus's ship is about to crash. Of course. All right, so I did hear this game is uh, a little harder than the first game, which, oh my god. Uh, well, the first game wasn't that difficult. I mean, I played on normal, so... Uh... Well, also, Metroid Dread is actually fairly difficult. Uh, it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, what an intro. Perfect. Yeah. I'm back. And I need work. Okay, so I'm gonna... Alright, return to the ship. So, this looks pretty much identical to the first game. So, okay. Once again, A to shoot. Uh, can I not hit that? I can hit that, though. Okay. Uh, anything else in here? So, I press, okay, so she has the scan visor, but everything else is gone, and I, the beams are gone too. Aww. What happened, Samus? Why do you lose all your stuff at the beginning of each game? Why? Why? She probably threw it all out, like, I don't need all this, I'm Samus. Uh... Okay, can I scan that? All right. Unable to... Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm not going to read every little thing. I know there's a lot more to the lore that I missed out on in the first game. That's okay. I'm, I'm in it for the gameplay, really. And the, the story is more of like a backseat, really. Okay. Oh. There we go. So yeah, I was saying earlier, um... People have been saying that Metroid 2 is harder in terms of, like, combat, but apparently the map is easier to read. Uh... Did I not scan that? Oh! Shoot that. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what did I do wrong? Yeah, so apparently the map has like a central hub and that you go through from there to the other areas? Question mark? That's what I'm... Again, I just read it off of uh, Facebook. Uh, oh. Okay, open that. All right. So yeah, pretty much same controls. And I once again, I am playing on the Wii U as part of the uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, looks, looks like the map.
the map for this area. Okay. And press 1. Okay. So, same as uh, last game. All right, yeah, the orange is stuff I've been to. The blue is a new. All right. Okay, it says the light map. What the heck does that mean? Okay, maybe I'll find out later. Oh! Oh, what? These are all bounty hunters that got killed? Looks like it. Yeah. The suit is very similar to uh, Samus' suit, only it's all black. Oh, and they all got killed by these things? Sometimes you'll need to look around to find your target. Okay, yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> I got that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, and they just vanish. Okay. Guess they're going to heaven. Oh my god. Can I send you to heaven? Nope. Well. Sorry. Actually, can I? Oh, morph ball, but... I can. Okay. Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Data transfer to your logbook. Okay. So it doesn't show you the whole thing. Kind of like... The last game I just told you. Uh, okay, Morph Ball. Okay, one thing I want to point out, and I did not know this throughout the entirety of my uh, Metroid Prime playthrough, but moving the uh, the Wii Remote, you can jump. I cannot believe I didn't know that. And apparently it was added for the Wii version, so there's no, there wasn't a tutorial for that, which is why I didn't know about it. But I don't know why... Like, I should have tried that. So yeah, I played that entire game without jumping. Why can't Metroid jump? <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Alright, Morph Ball. Uh, okay. And she has her bombs too, okay. I assume we're gonna lose this at some point. Wow. Ah. Uh. How come, like, everywhere Samus goes, uh, everywhere that Samus goes, she, like, <laughs> it's, like, destruction. Everywhere I go, there's destruction. Oh, bomb? Oh, there we go. Everything I touch dies. Alright. Oh. Oh, you're gonna turn again. Oh. Okay. I felt bad for you guys at first, but now I don't. Alright, charge beam. Oh, I just noticed on the right. Or, oh, sorry, the left, that little thing. It was like moving. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Maybe I'll find out later. Uh, yeah. C. Alright, more of you guys. Thankfully you go down in one charge shot. Okay, and press A to pick up. Or draw and pick ups. Okay. Uh. Yeah, something we gotta scan, right? Over here? Moving gate to open. All right. Oh, more of you guys? Well, I'm Samus. I got the charge beam. I assume we're going to lose this, just like in the first game. Because, yeah, she had the morph ball. She had the bomb, I think, and she had the charge beam. And then, you know, everything blew up. She lost it all. Okay. Uh, this looks like boss time. Maybe. Uh, 
Okay, that was a cutscene. It seems like we're gonna fight, like, other Samuses. That sounds weird to say, Samuses, Samuses. I thought that was the plot of Metroid Prime 3, but I might be wrong. All right. Oh, so the map said the light. It looks like... So, is this like a, a Link to the Past? Where there's a light world and a dark world? If so, that's cool. I didn't notice that on- oh, god. Oh, it's that, uh, the stuff from the first game. I don't think I can touch it. It's an evil Samus. Dark Samus. Shadow Samus. Okay, so the Dark Samus destroyed whatever the hell that was behind me. That's what I'm getting, and I gotta fight these guys. Or not. Huh. Oh! So now we're going back? Yeah, that's what it looks like, a light world and a dark world concept. Just like a link, uh, link to the past. Okay, I'm liking this game already. I'm just gonna pose for a second because I'm Samus. Chozo battle suit version something 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 alert space jump thrusters offline grappling beam morph ball boost. Okay, so... Alright, this is how she loses everything. So, she doesn't have the bomb anymore, but she can still morph ball. Alright. Alright, so that's how she loses everything. Something in there. Alright. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened, but that wasn't quite as cool as how she loses everything in uh, the first game. Oh, God! While locked on... Oh yeah, this ability. Which I never really used in the first game. I need to probably get used to it again. Alright, while locked on... Yeah, that. Alright. Alright. Something over there. Have I been there? Oh, one. Look at my map for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, how do I... No. How do I move the map? Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think there's a way to hold down and move the map, right? No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, that looks like a save point, maybe? Uh... Yeah, might as well. Yes. Oh, an energy fully replenished? Actually, shit, did saving replenish your energy in the first game? I don't remember that. I might be wrong. Again, it's uh, been a while since I played the first game. I was actually going to try to 100% it, but apparently 100%ing the Prime games, you have to scan everything. And that seems like a pain. Okay, this is the elevator. You know, I'm really surprised. Uh, I might be jinxing it, but... uh. Nothing's blown up yet. I'm sure that's gonna change. So... Can I do something with that? Now? Nope. Okay. Probably to come back later for that. Let me see where I am. Oh! No, no, no. Okay. Oh.
I mean, I assume this is just a tutorial map, right? Kind of like the first game did. Oh, well. Oh, I got the worst itch right now. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't like the sound of that. Most potent explosives. Okay. Oh, that's thing again. All right. All right. Probably didn't need to scan that. Ooh. Scan visor is useful for gathering information. Scan objects and creatures to learn more about them. Yep, just like the first game. I mean, this definitely feels like a sequel to the first game. I mean, it was also on the GameCube, right, that got ported to the, uh, to the Wii. And I, one of my big problems with, uh, Metroid Prime is a switching in between beams. That's, it's a little bit awkward. I don't have to deal with that just yet. Oh, it's that thing again. Hmm. Cannot translate alien text. All right. Okay. Let's see what I can do. He what? Oh God! Really? All right. Well. Over here, maybe? You die. Alright, up here. Uh, another scan thing. Yeah, I'm sorry if I miss anything, like, scan-wise. I, uh... Destroy looks locks to lower the bridge. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna scan every little tiny thing. Unless it's, like, an enemy, like, especially the bosses, I'm definitely gonna scan, because, uh, they give you hints on how to, f uh, fight them, assuming I read them right. That is still so embarrassing, that one fight with the solar guy, I didn't read the thing, and I was like, how do I beat this guy? And I was like, they tell you how. Again, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. But I'm glad I'm getting into the Metroid series, I especially, uh... I am enjoying Metroid uh, Dread. Uh, as of now, I think I'm like three quarters of the way done. So I know it's a pretty short game. And I do like the challenge. I will say, probably after uh, the next 2D Metroid game, I'm probably going to play is uh, Metroid Fusion. Uh, that, that won't be anytime soon. So, Temple Grounds. Okay, so... What does the T mean? Okay. Question mark. All right, so we don't know yet. Die. So is that the T? Oh, well, get rid of you guys. Go away. Go away. Go away. Um... Yes. Oh, no, 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 Samus. No. Control system online, and it moves that thing. Huh. Okay. Do I shoot that? Boom. Okay, that, and we get over there. All right. Okay, is this the T that I saw? Because this is like the fourth one of these I've seen so far. Yeah, it is. Well, we still don't know what it is, but 
there's something behind it, though. Let me check that out. I assume we gotta go that way. Okay. So, whenever we get this alien visor thing, we can go in that door. But... Ah! Go away. Looks like we can't do anything else here. Doesn't look like it. Alright. I don't know why I blew that up. Oh, is that a... That is a missile. Right? Looks like a missile expansion. Well, we don't have missiles yet, so I don't think it matters. Alright. All right, when in doubt, scan it up, and you guys die. Okay, I don't want to say anything, but so far... Well, the first game had you escape, like, from an exploding, like, center. Oh, God. I'm sure this game is going to get harder. I'm not sure which of the two games, Metroid Dread or this game, is going to be the harder. Uh, oh. No. Oh. Is Samus, like, the only competent, like, fighter? Well, she was raised by the Chozo. I think she, like, got, like, superhuman strength. Yeah, I don't know all the details. I do know she was, uh, her parents were, kid were killed by Ridley. And she was uh, taken in by the Chozo, and they taught her to fight. And now she's a bounty hunter. Transmission failed to the atmospheric interview. Huh. Okay. Get going, then. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I assume that Dark Samus theme is gonna be, like, the final boss. It looked like it. Oh, no. The cameras. The cameras. Yes, that thing. Oh, these were my worst nightmare in uh, Metroid Prime. I don't know why they gave me so much trouble. That was pretty easy, though. Oh, wait, I wanted to. S what is that? Oh. What's that? Okay, do I shoot that then? Oh, there's a morph ball thing. Alright. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, now that thing's opening and closing quickly. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright. Oh, I just realized I can't jump. Yeah, I'm moving the Wii remote and Samus is not jumping. Oh, so we lost that ability? What? Oh. Why can't Metroid jump? Well, we'll probably get it again once we get the bombs. That's probably what happened. All right. Where am I on the map? Okay, we're getting close to, uh... So there's a red door and a yellow door. I assume we can't open those, but there's a blue door. We can't... Oh! Sam's is like, all oh, these dumbasses. 
How are they gonna die? I'm just kidding. Sam is probably not like that. Uh, the game crashed. Uh, I don't... I don't know what any of that means. We engage an unknown space pirate for... Oh, we're getting some backstory. Okay. The enemy frigate was crippled, and it crashed onto the planet. Oh, I didn't have time to read that. Okay, so I think they're part of the Galactic Federation, and they tried to get pirates in while well, they all died. Having manic activity during the storm disabled our... It's going really fast. Until they appeared. Who's they? Oh, I like this remix of uh, Samus's theme. Really got killed by those things. They're the easiest enemy in the game. You know you did. Samus like kills all those all those things in one hit. Oh yeah, that's the guy. So he put in this memory log thing. Sam's just like I'm surrounded by idiots. Uh, I should go back to bounty hunting. <laughs>